I ordered up what is called a skinny cargo roof basket. It's, I believe, 23 inches wide by 64 inches long. Just got it out of the box. Now we'll see how it goes together. I can tell you one thing, they package this thing up really securely. I mean, look at all the foam and zip ties. The zip ties used to hold everything together and to hold the foam in place. There's just no way that these pieces that are all nestled together are going to come apart or bang against each other. And the metal that this thing is made out of seems to be extremely strong, extremely well made. I'm very happy with it so far. The basket itself comes in three pieces. This would be the middle section. It has a front section and a rear section. And that is so you can leave this out and attach the front and back sections together to make a shorter basket. But since I want the full length of 64 inches, I'm gonna be installing this in between the front and rear. Okay, I just opened up the hardware package. You get uh, the two side fairing pieces. These attach the middle section uh, to the front and back sections. These are the uh, mounting clamps, and boy are they heavy. You end up getting clips, I believe, for the top and bottom, and then your actual mounting hardware to join the pieces together. Now I attach one of the end pieces to the center piece. And then I take one of these pieces that they call a fairing and that gets clamped on over where each piece joins. And they even provide the tool to tighten these down. I'm pretty impressed. Each end of those end and center sections has a little plastic cap just to protect the end so that they don't get damaged and they'll slide together all right. The uh, front is obvious because this is angled and they provide you with a wind deflector which is also made out of steel and that will attach onto the front here. As you can see all three pieces are put together. It comes in at 23 inches wide, 64 inches long. The only thing pretty much left to do is to attach these clamps. There's two large clamps, two small clamps, and they attach the two small ones to the smaller bar on the top, the two large clamps to the larger bar on the bottom, and that's what holds the wind deflector on. I'm not going to put the wind deflector on yet because I cut my own vinyl decals, and I'm going to cut my uh, channel logo, and I'm going to place that on there before I attach that. I'm very surprised at how robust these clamps are. These are the clamps that hold the basket to the crossbars of my roof rack. And um, they've got some weight to them. They're, they're very, very sturdy. Look like they're very well made. So this should clamp on there pretty securely. I couldn't use these pieces of the brackets because the way that these are angled and from the look of the directions, they look like they're contoured to fit the bottom of maybe a rhino rack or something uh, crossbar that's angled like that. So all I've ended up using is the top piece and uh, this bottom U-shaped piece and then the, uh, the thumb piece is here to tighten it down. It seems to stay on there pretty sturdy so far. With the exception of cutting a hole and installing my roof vat and then purchasing uh, and installing an awning off to the passenger side, I think my roof is pretty well finished. The roof racks have been installed, solar panel installed, my GMRS antenna has been installed, and lastly I have assembled and installed the uh, cargo basket and I just finished installing the wind deflector on the front with the custom vinyl decals that I made. 
If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Hopefully you'll subscribe. And I thank you all for watching.